So the guy like put a smiley face and he's like, where are we going? Like thinking that I have to go to another state. And he was like, no, we got to go to the courthouse. It's been lifted. And so they went um, on constitutional. They went right to Indiana. And the court, it's funny because they go, where do we go? The courthouse? Because no one knows. They were the first, uh, first gay couple in Indiana to get married. And this has been, I looked into it. I believe it's been in uh, like 97, since 04, the, the current ban has been in place. So for 10 years, and it just got overturned on Wednesday. Wow. And uh, I know there were four marriages in Bloomington. I heard of um, my husband, one of his friends from college, got married. But a lot of moms got a lot of phone calls on in Indiana on Wednesday. The it. dance club music last night at Buzz's Big Gay Dance Party was awesome. Oh, yeah. Incredible. She did a yeah. great job. I don't know how she always pulls it off. Like uh, she's got a great way of um, keeping the the dance floor like started off slow, works up the tempo. I think she even said she has a strategy for that. Like she sends all the requests that people make to some special DJ. She's doing the. Uh, she's thinking each hour of the dance yes. party. She's like escalating things, and she's got stuff scheduled. And she is a yeah. party. Uh, monger. She's awesome. Well, monger, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well put. Yeah, she seemed to um, it just coax it all along. It just, uh, everyone, she, she was orchestrating, really. Yes. So that was a lot of fun. She's like an orchestra conductor of parties. Yes. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Plus, we were talking uh, over the break about how there are so many hot guys here this year. Yes. That's just awesome. We were. Yes. yes. And they don't form into orgies every day. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And then someone told me, oh, it's heterosexuality, Dale. I'm that's like, oh, right. that's how that works. Okay. Well, how's the um, gay men watching lesbian porn Viagra challenge? That is that's about like... 380,000 views. Oh, it's more than I thought. And it's going up 1,000 per day. Not bad. Yeah, Are it's you, fairly you viral. With the reaction? I am. I mean, we get a lot of comments. You know, you get no, goofy. No, 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 the reaction. Oh. Your reaction. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Oh. Were you pleased with the reaction? You guys are never going to let me live that down. Yeah. You know, I... Clearly, he was pleased. He was very pleased. Look, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm blaming the Viagra. It had nothing to do with lesbian porn. All right. All right, my arm's tired, so this is all the yeah, would YouTubers you like are going to get. No. Here, but, oh. I'll, I'll take yeah, over. Yeah, we, we have other people. That's, that's how the orgy works. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing this yesterday on the Corey Moore show, and they said I was creeping them out. I was being creepy, like it's a, uh, it's too meta. Yeah. I'm like selfieing, it's broadcasting a, live. It's the age of selfies, man. There's always been that group of people, that small minority, and Porkfest to me is where those people, uh, in present day, come together, yeah. celebrate, have a good time, share their ideas, and FBA relax, rejuvenate. I, well, yeah. I, 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 I feel optimistic about the Free State Project already, but coming to Porkfest just really renews it. I am super jealous of you. You are in a wonderful place. I would love to be bisexual. Say, I wouldn't take a straight pill. Oh, dear God, no, I wouldn't take a straight pill. But I'll take a bi pill. I would totally take a bi pill, just expand all the, you know, the things I could do. But yeah. I'm just so tragically, tragically way over on the gay side of the Kennedy scale. So. It's, I would say it's not a tragedy. <laughs> But, I'm making know, do. I'm making the best of it. If you're straight or if you're gay, like you can't help it. Like that's just if you're only attracted to one gender, that's that's it. But if you have some wiggle room and you're just not going there because of social pressures, maybe letting go of those social pressures would help you. Get that's paid, what we're all you know? about, you know. Yeah. You know, if you're only a if you're five, or wait, the skin kids that are six is gay, one is straight. So if you're like one point five, that's enough for like snuggling, I think, right? At yeah, least. totally. And yeah. you know. <laughs> Working. A little spooning. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's. I see yeah, maybe a little dry humping. Just, a little, you know, close the line, <laughs> a little, you spoon a little, and you're like, I'm okay with some dry humping. You know, no, just, no penetration. What's the worst that could happen? Just right. try it, you know? Quit yeah. complaining about the ratio and just get more flexible. That's, that's the thing. Right. <laughs> Have you guys heard the term homo and heteroflexible? Homo yeah. I have, yeah. Uh, yeah. One of my co hosts, Jason, I think, calls himself heteroflexible. Yeah. No, I would just be thrilled if guys, like totally straight guys, could hug without hitting each other. Yeah, like, can you, be do, you do a normal hug where you like just, it's okay if your palms touch the guy's back. If that's not gay, <laughs> okay? Just don't, don't like, hit the back. <laughs> so, oh no, macho hug. You know, there was a solitarian <laughs> last night. I'm not gonna say who it was because he might want to be private, but he, it was a guy, he was <laughs> tripping on shrooms, okay? He comes up to- I can't imagine what that's like. I don't even know. I don't know either. <laughs> But illegal. It looked pretty fun because he, come, he comes up to me and my partner um, Brian Sovereign at the, at the bonfire and he, he goes, oh guys, I, I'm so happy to see you, I really like you. He gives Brian a big kiss on the cheek. 
And then he gives me a hug, and I said, what? <laughs> you kissed Brian, you didn't kiss me. His wires were all crossed <laughs> for a moment there. And then he said, oh, and he gave me a nice sweet kiss, but I had to ask for it. Oh, it was just so much fun. I, so I had an unexpected moment. I, um, I got kind of wild. I wasn't drunk, I wasn't using it. I was totally sober, Woo! but I was just having fun, and I was dancing and like going on the stripper pole, and I got an ounce of silver for dancing. I, and I got a lot of I that totally on video, did not so that. those of you, pay attention to Flaming Freedom. If you're okay with it, we'll put up oh, Flaming yeah, Freedom totally. video I, on I YouTube didn't, channel. I, I, uh, you know, I expect it to be I think good. I asked you already about that, yeah. yeah. So that'll, that'll be up on YouTube. But we'll be right back. This is Flaming Freedom Live at Porkfest. Woo!